Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to King's Quest VII, a Christmas special and Patreon reward for Kijikun. And yes, it is a game that I said I would never play. I am a masochist. Chapter 4. Will the real Troll King please stand up? Oh, wait, no, no, please don't. No, oh god. Oh, oh, you... That's just gross. Well, we're back playing Rosal again. Can we grab that? Yes. Hello? And... I guess we're not going back down there. How did that fill up? You didn't even say anything to me. I just wait for him to slowly walk back up. Nuts! This is going to take forever. I can't stand this rotten, worthless little shovel. Look at that. Pathetic. Not enough dirt to suffocate a bug. Nuts! Well, considering that you're not actually piling it up here, I, I'm, I question the, effect, the efficacy of your uh, digging. And I don't think it's the shovel. Also, really, how did this fill up? Nobody will be using that elevator again. Well, good. It was dangerous. What the hell is this thing? I'm not sure if this thing has seen this place has seen better. Just walk right through the dirt, why don't you, Rosla? So, uh, skull, bat, and spider. Okay. I'm not actually expecting this to uh, go into a little thing. Can we take a look at the gravestones? Here lies the corpse of Fats Wode. He ate till he bulged like a toad. One day he bought twenty stale pies for a penny. The twentieth made him explode. Well, this is a nice little, uh, uh, homage to her previous adventure. The sorrowful Marjorie Pratt liked to wail on the cliffs with her cat. One night, such a pity, she tripped on her kitty and fell off the cliff with a splat. Ugh. <laughs> Great editorial uh, comment there. strange author, Phineas Smythe, liked to lurk in the shadows at night. He'd write hideous tales of green monsters with scales, and one day he just died of fright. Oh, come on. Oh, can I not read those? All right, let's talk to you. Hello? Uh, hello, good fellow. Uh, thank you again. I wonder... You are very slow to move. What? Are, are you... Oh, no, you're just measuring me for uh, a grave. Okay. Okay, lady. I got your link. I can't start digging your grave until tomorrow, though. Sorry. I don't think we're in too much... Well, actually, no. That, that might actually be a good thing. Kill me. I don't need a grave just yet. Thanks to you, sir. Could you tell me if this is the land of Ooga Booga? Yeah, this is Ooga Booga, all right. Pardon me for saying so, but isn't that shovel a little too small for the task at hand? Not really. You said it, lady. This is the wrong equipment for the job. Here, let me show you something. Oh god, no, 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 no. I don't know what you're talking about, but don't. No, no. Well, I wasn't able to open that. This here is a fully automatic, steam driven, rat powered grave digging machine. I made it to myself. Those rotten kids broke in, and they stole me power source. They took my rat. It was powered by one rat? <sighs> well, if only I still had that uh, mechanical rat. Sir, couldn't you just get another rat for your machine? Yeah. Nah. 
Iggy was trained special. Besides, what? there ain't no other rat as strong as Iggy. Seriously? Or as smart, neither. What? He must be a very special rodent. He is, lady. He is. Just talk to Fenris. Maybe he knows someone. Can we talk to you again? Forgive me, lady. I don't mean to be rude or nothing, but I got to get some work done before I get even farther behind. I'll fine be that way. All right. Let's, uh, how, how do I put... Oh, I guess I go off this screen. All right. We'll see if we can uh, find your rat while we just walk through that flying dirt. Oh, this place has seen better days. Um, those are the same symbols. Wonder if they mean anything. Can we interact with uh, this dilapidated building in any way? No. All right. Guess we go that way. What? Oh, hey, it's a shadow hound. Okay. Yeah, you, uh, you, you do that. You bark there, dog, and and do absolutely nothing. Okay. Do we care, Rosla? Oh, hey, I can read this. A werewolf named Thaddeus Scabies tried to steal a poor farmer's three babies. As he crept through the house, he was nipped by a mouse who was mad, and the wolf died of rabies. What? Don't just die of rabies. It takes a little while. Oh, hello. I don't know who the hell that was, but... A paranoid fellow named Ed thought a monster lived under his bed. As he quailed in the dark, his dog gave a loud bark, and Ed leapt from the window in dread. Yeah, seems like a good way to go. The debonair Archduke von Drake was always a bit of a rake. He chased a maid through the grass, but when he caught the lass, she dropped kicked him into the lake. <laughs> I'd like to know her. The jumpy dame Celia Nats had a terrible fear of black cats. She saw one in the night, jumped ten feet in fright, and was carried away by large bats. Really? Well, now that's just silly. Hello? Can I interrupt your morning? Are you alright, ma'am? Can I help you? No one can help me! <laughs> Did I just die? Yikes. Wow. I guess some people just like to be left alone. Well, I was not expecting that death. Yeah, we'll try try again. Okay, so uh, don't talk to uh, the crazy lady. Um, hi. Who are you? Gotcha. <laughs> what? Oh, now that's just that creepy. That guy is bad news. Next time, I'm not waiting to find out just how bad. Um, a little bit late now, though. Okay, try it again. Let's just walk by where that thing was. You little fiend! Get out of here! Seriously? Oh, come on. That was hardly scary. Well, let's go uh, knock on this person's door. Oh, actually, let's take a look at this first. Dr. Mort Cadaver. Ha! Huh. Now there's a name to inspire confidence. Yeah, sure. Doc... Can you do something for me? Kill me. Yes? May I help you? You can help me die. Mm, hello. Uh, I am Rosella of Daventry. Uh, m may I ask you a few questions? No. Oh. Certainly, Miss Rosella. Wow. Do come in. Quickly, please. That is more reasonable than I expected. Just 
just, you know, let me uh, squeeze on by. There you go. Thanks for making room. Welcome to Ooga Booga, Miss Rosella. I am Dr. Mort Cadaver. Coroner, how may I help you? We can help me find I'm a good way to die. I'm seeking King Otark, ruler of the trolls. I've heard that he's been detained in this land. H have you heard anything about him? No, but I bet that wicked militia is behind it, since she caused the destruction of our beloved ruler, Count Tepish. This land has slipped into chaos. The boogeyman thinks he owns the place, and those horrid kids have run amok. I'm afraid to go outside anymore. They're just kids. If they're just kids, can't you do something to stop them? I'm just the town doctor. I spend a great deal of time replacing limbs, reattaching noses, you know. But I could hold my own against those kids. Until last week, that is, uh, when I gave my spine away to a charming lady who'd fallen off a cliff. Ser it seems that Seriously? without a backbone, I can't stand up to anyone. <sighs> Why did you give your spine away? Why don't you just replace well, it with the uh, pole? Excuse me, my dear. I must fill out some death certificates now. Oh, okay. You, uh, have fun with that, I, I suppose. What do we have here? It looks like a rat. Oh, what's wrong with him? Oh, Mr. Nibbler here is in for an attitude adjustment. Well, he could use hey, lady. it. lady. Got any fava beans? Huh. Well, you, uh, you have fun with that, uh, little n Mr. Nibblers, whatever your name was. That's, um, c quite a nice coffin. What do you use it for? Looks like a couch to me. Most of my patients like to nap here while they're waiting, my dear. To tell you the truth, I nap in it myself when business is slow. It's so comfortable. You people are very strange. What do you have on this uh, shelf here? Leg of lizard, eye of newt, toxic toadstool powder, monosodium glutamate, yikes. Yeah, that monosodium glutamate will kill you. No, it actually won't. So this is his pantry, apparently. Dr. Cadaver, you really should have a spine. Can you get yours back? Oh, I couldn't. The patient must come first. But, Miss Rosella, I'd do anything for another one. I tried a broomstick and some dried spaghetti, but it just <laughs> wasn't the same. I don't know. A broomstick would be, uh... Pretty good. All right. Well, uh, you uh, you have fun uh, here, uh, sir. I'm I'm going to leave now. Don't mind me. Is there anything else to look at? Nope, not really. All right. What if we uh, what if we go south here? Hi, kitty. There are a lot of uh, graves around here. What do we have? The daredevil Morgan Wegg smoked his pipe on a gunpowder keg. They found his head on the bridge and his arm near the ridge, but no one could find his left leg. Eh, probably uh, went into someone's soup. What do we have up here? Here lies Miss Marigold Gossam who grew a carnivorous blossom. She fell into the weed and it ate her with greed one day when she tripped on a possum. Well, I suppose that's one way to go. Count Cranky, a nasty old goat, slipped and got himself drowned in the moat. His family cheered, his squire disappeared, and even his dog seemed to gloat. So he wasn't loved, I, I see. <sighs> Hearing the all these deaths lady, Madeline Fair grew convinced so that she was a spring hare. On hands and on knees, she'd bounce through the trees till the day she ran into a bear. Oh, I, I, I saw that bear in the last chapter. 
Here's the body of Benjamin Crabby, who in life was incredibly grabby. Don't stand on his grave, for his corpse can't behave. Old Benji might pop up and nab ye. Ah, what's the worst that could happen? Ah! That, I suppose. Maybe they should, uh, I don't know, you know, hmm. lock it. I guess I should have read the headstone more carefully. Nah, nah. See, seriously? Okay, so this guy can just pop up at basically, like, any, any point. Um, actually, let's go this way since we haven't been that way. Yeah, it's just completely random. That guy is bad. Fine. That is a that is quite the swagger she's got. Hey, maybe we can find a spine here. This looks like a pile of bones. It's probably gonna kill me. Yeah, it's gonna kill me, right? No. Y you want to talk to me? No. No! No! That was awful. I should have done something. That that was actually pretty creepy. <laughs> okay, so um, don't mess with the pile of bones. I just wanted a spine. Did I look at this one? Marjorie, fragile and pale, always wore a voluminous veil. When her yards of black crepe caught the wind like a cape, poor Margie blew off in the gale. That was quite the gale, then. Alright, you, uh, you have fun there crying, lady. I'm, uh, wandering off this way. Now that is just rude, you little jerk. Well, it didn't leave anything, so it wasn't actually all that bad. Let's uh, take a look at this, uh, I don't know, what is that, a spider web or something? Can we climb up? Um... Oh boy, I thought that looked like a spider web. Well, that's one way to die. Uh, let's see. Is there... another thing that we can interact with? Nope, let's uh, head north. I don't have my magic rope anymore. Oh, it takes us back here. Hmm. Oh. There's a rope here that wasn't there before. Was that there before? I don't remember seeing that. I mean, we can climb up it. Um, okay, I did not see the elevator thing on the other side, but okay. Hello? What is this? Did... I'm never <laughs> giving one of those things to my children. Never, ever, ever. Well, okay, so don't uh, don't mess with the jack-in-the-box, or the, um, uh, snake-in-a-box. Oh, hey. A backbone. Well, that's handy. Can we, uh, can we take the rest of these? No? We just got it. Okay. Uh, can we pull the leg? That's yeah, like pull my finger, but, you know, leg. I suppose a girl never knows when she'll need a foot in a bag, especially in Ooga Booga land. Right. Considering that we had no idea what Ooga Booga land was until, you know, we, we got here. A foot in a bag. It's... a thing. Hi, guys. 
Hi. Eek. You're not that scary. Come on. And what the heck is this thing? <laughs> Eek. Well, at least it don't kill me like the uh, Jack in the uh, Box does. Just kids, kick them up. Those nasty little guys are keeping me on my toes. That's for sure. I need to think fast around them. Wait, seriously? Did I just die from them? Did the little kids just kill me? Well, that's one way out. I was not actually expecting to go out that way, but. Welp, it's a living, I guess. Hmm, his gate's closed. Wonder why the gate was closed. You better be home. I have a backbone for you. Do come in, Miss Rosella. Thank you. Excuse me, just let me uh, squeeze on by you. I think he does that just to uh, perv out. Excuse me, Miss Rosella. I'll be right with you. Now then, Mr. Bugbear, let's fix that broken heart of yours. <laughs> ah, staples. Why not? Thank you, Dr. Cadaver. You. It was all soggy. What can I do for you, Miss Rosella? Oh, it's not what you can do for me, but what I can do for you, Dr. Cadaver. Here. You can grow a backbone now. Dr. Cadaver, I have a surprise for you. Brand new, never... Oh, I wow. am eternally grateful to you. I would like to repay you in some small way. Okay. Um, I'm afraid to know what that would be. Ah. Here. Just what every young lady needs. Uh oh. A dear little pet to keep her company. Hmm. I made him myself. What? Uh, thank you, Dr. Cadaver. <laughs> you, you're not going to tell me what this is, game, are you? Weird pet. Fragile. Spare parts. Can I open it? I want to open it again. Okay, well, I guess we're going to be keeping a weird pet around for now. I don't know why, but, um, okay. I guess that's a thing. This place is very, 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 very strange. Well, let's go ahead and leave. That is quite the swagger she has, though. Alright. Let's see if we can find the brats. We're not back here. Could go south. What if we go over here? Snake is pointing up for goodness. 
is fake on the way. Go and hide. The boogeyman will be inside. Whatever the branch is pointing down. All right, I think it's repeating. Here, I, I have something for you, kids. Hopefully Guess it'll eat you. Here, guys. Is it a severed head? Maybe. A crawling eyeball? <laughs> Maybe. No, it's something better. It's the best, weirdest, creepiest pet in the world. That's no! that's a, quite the endorsement. Oh yeah? Look. I hope it eats them. The hell was that? Give it, give it, put it on the elevator. Okay. Why am I giving Why stuff to these kids? Come up here and bring it yourself, lady. That that seems like a bad idea. Yeah, come on up. That seems like a very very <laughs> bad idea. <laughs> I saw what happened last time. There we go. We'll just uh, give you the pet. I hope it eats you. <laughs> Please eat them. Please eat them. He's biting me. Yes. Well, apparently we have a very loving rat now. Ew. It'll be okay, little fella. Let's get out of here. Why the uh, the rat just suddenly appeared, I don't know. But we have the Gravedigger's rat. Look at it. It's staring at us. Staring into our souls. Let's put it away. All right. Oh, actually, I can go up this way. Oh, Mr. Gravedigger, I have a present for you. If I can ever get up there. Here you go. I've done my good deed for the year. Look who I found. Wow, that's a big rat. Just pull it by the tail? Giggy. <laughs> That's terrible. Thank you, lady. Thank you so much. You're, you're welcome. The only talent in the world is for digging. But I'll dig you a grave anywhere you want. Here, take this horn. Okay. Ew. If you blow this horn, I'll hear you, and I'll come and dig your grave. Okay? Come on, Iggy. Let's go fire that bad boy up. I, I'm not entirely sure that that's a good thing. Do I want that to happen? How does that? How is that powered by a single rat? I I have no words. Let's take a look at the uh, grave digger's horn. That is that is a frightening horn. Let's see, did I go off this uh, side? Yeah, I think I did, but we'll go off this side anyway. Oh, actually, you know what? Can I go in there? No, I can't. All right, well, let's get off this screen, and I think we'll call it an episode. 
I don't I don't see that really digging. It doesn't seem to actually be doing anything. But okay, you know. Whatever. In the next episode, we will hopefully end our lives or at least get out of Ooga Booga Land because what the hell? See you next time, everyone.